couple of things. So you're in a new city and you're being attacked in a way you've never been attacked before. What's going on? It could be that you are being attacked by a ruler of darkness that is in that region that, that you're not familiar with. So for example, I'm here in South Florida. Now, South Florida, they call it the evangelist graveyard. It's very, very difficult spiritual climate here, as I'm sure it is in many parts of the world. But we have Haitians and Jamaicans and Africans and Chinese. We have a, a we speak a, like 200 languages here. So there's a melting pot. But we have all these island cultures and African cultures who are here with all their witchcraft and voodoo and Rastaf you know, Rastafarianism and Rosicrucian and all these different things. And so many people come to South Florida and they get attacked in ways they've never been attacked anywhere else. That's probably the local uh, the local, you know, demon saying, hey, hi, just wanted to make sure you're aware that I'm here. And so <laughs> and so what you need to do in that uh, when you don't know how to pray as you ought, you're going to pray in the spirit. And so pray in the spirit that's going to build you up in your most holy faith. And then the Holy Spirit can then show you if there's another strategy that you need to execute, because unless you now I'm assuming it's some kind of spirit of fear. Um, because you're telling me you have panic attacks. So that would be the fruit of a, of a demon that's in the family of fear. But it could also just be witchcraft manifesting as fear because the spirit of witchcraft can manifest in many different ways. It's almost like a chameleon spirit. It, there's many different expressions of witchcraft. Remember when Elijah was hit with witchcraft from Jezebel, Jezebel sent a messenger with a death curse, right? That was witchcraft in his mind. And he was afraid and he ran away. So witchcraft can can bring on all sorts of symptoms. And so what you need to do is pray. I, if it were me, I would pray in the spirit until I got revelation on what else I needed to do. Because if you start binding this and binding that, you might be essentially beating the air, shadow boxing. And Paul says, we're not supposed to do that. And so we don't want to provoke a principality. We don't want to provoke spiritual wickedness in high places. We don't want to provoke, you know, any other demon power out of presumption that we think we know what's attacking us. So we don't want to just look at the fruit of the attack and, and begin to pray against the fruit. We want to get to the root of the attack. And it's the Holy Spirit who knows what the root is. And praying in the spirit, I believe, is your best bet. And of course, you can ask the Lord in your natural language, you know, what is this that's coming against me? Um, you can just ask him. But praying in the spirit will build you up in your holy, in most holy faith.